Hi and welcome. As you know, Breakdance has some issues when it comes to compatibility using multi-language plugins, but I found a workaround how to get it working, including header, footer, templates and global blocks using VPML. If I show you my page for a quick second, here is the page, rather let's open it in incognito. Um, so first you have the home page, which is in English, then you have Slovenian, then you have Czech, and in the end you also have a German version. Now every page was made simply using VPML, translate management, selecting the section you actually want to translate it in another language, clicking on it, and then duplicating the content, and then in the end going to that side and translating it. Uh, if I show you one thing, which is the header, if you see German it looks like this, English is like this, Czech like this, and English like this. Same goes for footer, this is English footer, this is Slovenian, German, and also the blocks, which have dynamic buttons, this is German, this is English, this is Czech, and this is, which one didn't I show you yet? Slovenian. They're still in English because I didn't actually write them, but you can see the buttons are Slovenian, so they, it works. Now, how do they do that? Well, first of all, the headers and footers cannot get duplicated, so you have to keep one header. Then how do you get it working on every single page? Simple. Simply create English, Slovenian, German, and Czech header, or whatever languages you're using. Now, before you do anything else, make sure under settings, under VPML, the way you're creating new lang... No, under languages, I apologize. Under languages, make sure that language URL format is set to this one. So you're using a parameter which comes after a question mark and it's called lang. Now how this works then in the breakdance is you can simply go on settings, condition and simply set a condition on which you want the page to be shown. Or in this case, a specific section. So for the English section, I want it to be shown when the parameter lang is not Slovenia, Czech or German, because that only leaves English. On the Slovenian header, I set the parameter lang to be to Slovenia. So it only shows when it's Slovenia. And you can guess what comes in German is German. And of course on Czech, when it is only Czech. The footer works literally the same way. I simply created four footers, as you can see, and then simply link them. This is German one. So the param lang only shows when it's DE. Now, what does this work? It works because if you can tell at the URL up here, on the English there's nothing. On Slovenian it has question mark lang SL. On Czech it has question mark lang CS. And on German it has question mark lang DE. What about the blog? Because the blog is using a blog template. And if you know, templates also cannot be translated because there's bugs. So how do they do that? Well, this doesn't make a lot of sense, but it doesn't have to. You simply go translation management, you select your global post. In my case, that is single block. And you can tell that it exists, even though there's only one version here. If I go on global post blocks here, you're going to see that I have three of them. So you duplicate them. And then inside the block, I simply man make one point to this one. If I go on British, I have to exit actually. On British side, I'll open all three so I can show you all of them. On British side, it's pointing to this one. On Czech to this one and in Slovenian to this one. Now they're all different, 
even though they're named the same. So what's the point? If I show you this global block or this global block or this global block, I think you're going to get an idea. Here, I made again four versions of the same post. Everything is made using dynamic, so dynamic image, dynamic text, and simply then the button, which is translated to specific language. Now, how does the post know which one to pick? Again, under conditions, I simply set the same parameters I've been using this whole time. And once you do this for each of them, Breakdance actually agrees with you. And this actually works the way it's intended. I hope this helps you. Uh, if you have any problems, feel free to hit me in the question in the description below. I'll try to help you. But yeah, that's it. VPML works completely fine with breakdance. And that'll be all from this short video. Take care and see you in the next one.